We are here with Dame Cassandra. Say hello. I will tell you everything you need to know about getting the eyebrow on right. How to glue your bushy eyebrows down. I know all about that. Contour. All about that because I don't know if you know this, but I have four plus years of drag queen experience. This is an everyday brow. So I'm going to give the dame a topic of realness and she is going to draw a corresponding eyebrow. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, your first topic of realness is Renaissance realness. <laughs> I'm gonna be a mess by the end of this. This is from Sally Beauty. Um, it was 99 cents. Boutique, boutique liner. 714005. It weighs about 1.28 grams. Wow, that's really heavy for a baby. Feel as though they didn't quite have the technology, the beauty technology yet, to know about plucking or shaving your eyebrows off or drawing them on. So I'm imagining them to be a little bit bushy. The tough shot there. The first thing you want to do with your Renaissance brow is you want to make it really unkempt. Just fucking do like crazy little hair marks. They didn't give a shit in the Renaissance. They're really dramatic. It also gives you like a crown of thorns kind of thing. It's kind of a don't give a fuck attitude. The Renaissance people, they just, they don't care. Nobody really does about the Renaissance. Some of you may be thinking like, why do her eyebrows look like Sasquatch? Yeah, there is a method to the madness. The myth of Sasquatch began in the Renaissance period. It's kind of a little uneven. I mean, what are you gonna do? You can't always be perfect. Get like little hairs randomly on parts of my face. And you wanna draw those on too because that really shows like the Renaissance like flavor. You know, a couple chin hairs, a little soul patch. And this is the Renaissance look. Good luck. 